removing a fish from the sea, basically. The effect is not just the removal of that fish. There are flow on effects, and I think that for the bluefin tuna, which is probably something we'll come up a lot tonight, um, there's been a, a this major flow on effect of 97% de decline in the numbers there. And what they've actually, what's actually happened in that kind of in that case, there's a lot of things that I used to eat and now become more abundant. It's a change. Is it good or is it bad? Because the things that they eat now become less abundant. So we're playing with the ecosystem in this kind of way. You know, I mean, you could say, no, it's good, it's more of these, but it's less of those. And so we're fundamentally shaping our seeds by overfishing, by removing this, this, many, this many particular fish. Um, habitat is also a huge has had it's, it's huge changes in habitat, particularly seafloor habitat, from fishing practices. Um, look, I've got, I've got to say in Australia, we don't have anywhere near as many problems as we've had in, internationally, and particularly in, um, in sort of Northern Europe and uh, so in European waters and, and, and in, in international waters, major, major problems. We're doing a lot better here in Australia, but still we need to ensure that we're not destroying the habitat which these fish actually depend on. On a fundamental, on a fundamental level, and it's of course not just the fish that we catch, because there's a lot more fish down there that we either don't eat, we might throw, them, we might catch them and throw them back, or we might not actually catch them. Like this fascinating report um, about those mes mesopelagic fish, which we didn't know were there because, yeah, they're too smart, and uh, that we've never actually caught them before. It's really fascinating, fascinating science that. Um, but getting down there, so you know, by destroying habitat, you know, it's not just affecting a, a single fish. And so these are the kind of ecosystem effects we need, we really need to think of, and we need to really get the ecosystem in balance. Once you knock out one part of it, the rest of it kind of goes a little haywire. All these flow-on effects. What we want is an ecosystem balance. When it comes to fishing, one way, one approach you can take to the uh, to to I guess uh, an ecosystem approach to fishing is to remove small amounts from all the levels of the ecosystem, rather than taking just that level, or just this level. And we have a tendency, uh, culturally, I think, to really follow trends of seafood, to go for, oh, you know, I, I go to the seafood shop and all I buy is tuna, or all I buy is flathead, or all I buy is flake. Uh, that's not good for the world's oceans. We should really be, if we're going to fish the oceans, we need to fish them all a little bit, so we don't throw this ecosystem um, out of its natural state and uh, a little bit haywire because we don't know what's going to happen.